Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. So I'm trying to get creative with my hats. I have uh, turned it to the side. <laughs> my roots are getting very long because we are, what, on week three or four of lockdown. So no hairdressers. So I'm just wearing hats. But um, I've had, I'm doing a bunch of videos. So I've had on this hat. I've had on this hat. And I wore this hat forward facing. And now I'm wearing it to the side and I am super super excited about this video it's so fun like I was searching solds and I'm like this video is so fun you guys are going to want to watch to the end it's amazing 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 super excited about it so we're just going to dig right in and get started my channel is about bolos items to be on the lookout for items you can buy low and sell high and this one is just nuts it's just crazy but there are collectors. There are collectors out there. Are you guys ready for this? All right, here we go. Let me get it on screen share. The first item is this Wrigley's full box of double mint gum. This is new old stock. This is so expired. It's not even funny. Sold for $365. This one only had one bid. But wait until you see this whole video. Amazing. Crazy crazy. One of the craziest bolo videos I've ever done. All right. So this one is beech nut from 1934. You guys, this is crazy. 1934. Can you imagine? Like that is so, so old. So old. So old. Almost a hundred years old. I mean, kind of almost to me, it's almost. Anyway, $339.99. Three bids plus shipping. The, the vintage gum, vintage gum perfection. That's interesting. See other items. Okay, we're gonna come back to that. I don't wanna, I don't wanna look at them all in case uh there's some other ones that I've pulled up. Yeah, this is him too. Maybe he just like hit the jackpot on gum. I mean, seriously? So this is from the early 1900s. Wishman's Blood Orange Single Gum Stick. Single gum stick. Okay, so now I'm confused. Is it one gum stick? Hmm. I think it's just one. Because that's a different, let's see what he wrote. Stick of gum, ultra rare fine. You're bidding on one stick of gum. Condition is very good. Slight tear at end of label. New old stock. Please look closely at pictures. Thinning out a 40 year collections. Photos of full box of vintage Wrigley's is for your enjoyment and an example of my collection. Okay, so he's a gum collector. And these are just his other boxes. So he's just kind of being like, hey, you collect gum? Look at my gum. Um, yeah, this one piece of gum sold for $124.50 with 27 bids plus shipping. So this is a box. It's an empty display hockey box. And it's for peachy gum. Just the box, guys. $340 this sold for plus shipping, 26 bids. All right, so this is an assortment of old vintage chewing gum and wrappers just found at an estate sale. So I'm thinking this person should have probably sorted these out after seeing the others. This sold for $20, or I'm sorry, $31 with 20 bids plus shipping. What do you guys think about this? Just wait, just wait. It gets better. I love this video. Um, 1920s Strickler's Chewing Gum, five pack, five sticks. Sold for $203.49 plus shipping. And it's the same guy. Oh my goodness. We're going to have to check out his store at the end. Garbage Pail Kids Sticker Bubble Gum, third series. So this has the stickers and the bubble gum. Sold for $124.27 with 15 bids plus shipping. 
double play. This is a gum wrapper, guys. No gum, just the wrapper. Sold for $40 with 15 bids plus shipping. Save this letter Y. Huh. So it's some sort of game. Baby Ruth. Wrapper. Just the wrapper. $25.90 plus shipping. Toffee. Larson's Toffee Chewing Gum. $24.25. 15 bids. Plus shipping, just the wrapper from the 1930s. Okay, so this is a Wrigley's Juicy Fruit. I don't feel like Juicy Fruit is that old. Like, I feel like I ate Juicy Fruit back in the day. But um, this is from the 60s, so I guess this is definitely old. Um, older than me. This pack of gum is older than me. It sold for $99, 15 bids plus shipping. Same guy. He was an... You know, you wonder when somebody has a huge collection, what makes them all of a sudden decide that they want to sell their entire collection? Like, how do you have such a passion for something and then all of a sudden be like, okay, I'm over it. I'm going to sell it all. Blood orange chewing gum. If you guys see blood orange chewing gum, buy it. It is big money bolo. Sold for $207.50 with 15 bids plus shipping. Same guy. Or gal, I guess. This one is another blood orange, 1923, sold for $277 plus shipping, 14 bids. What do you guys think? I want your comments below. Amazing, right? And I kept wondering, like, why is there so much gum that is like auction style bolos? Like, what is happening? But now I'm seeing it's this guy selling his collection. All right, so this is New Old Stock 1927 Beech Nut Winter Wintergreen Gum Packs. $249.39. Plus shipping. Sen Sen Gum Advertising. And this is a different seller. This one sold for $76 plus shipping. Paper loss on one side. Mayberry. Selby's Mayberry Gum. Very cool. From 1918, you guys, $315.99 with 12 bids. So this is 100, is it 2020? Oh my goodness, 102 years old. How on earth is that even possible to still be around? This one is a chewing gum wrapper from 1910. It sold for $46 plus shipping. So if has anybody ever been lucky enough to find this and did you sell it? Carlton's Pepsin Chewing Gum, 20250, 12 bids plus shipping from the 1900s. These are the chewing gum trading stickers from the wacky packs. Some of these stickers individually can go for over a hundred dollars. Um, go check out Profit Monsters on YouTube. He has a video on this. And then I also featured him on my YouTube channel and it's under, I think I did wacky packages, a video on that. And then I also have a video, um, with profit monsters in the title. If you'd like to go check those out. Yellow kid chewing gum sold for $153 and 19 cents plus shipping. And again, they're just putting the extra pictures in, which I would not recommend doing. Zeno Pineapple Chewing Gum from the 1900s sold for $229.50, 10 bids plus shipping. Magic Gum Blows Colored Bubbles. That's fun. Huh. Sold for $91.50 plus shipping, and this is a single stick. Adam's Chicklets. And it's a 12 piece and it's from 1925 and it sold for $119 and seven plus shipping. Carlton's clover leaf chewing gum sold for 124 50 plus shipping. And it's a high grade chewing gum guys. And it's a single piece of gum. 
Amazing. Peppermint Chewing Gum Wrigley's. And this is a gum pack. And it sold for $109.07. 10 bids plus shipping. Pepsin Chewing Gum. This one went for $192.49 with 10 bids plus shipping. Big Bill Spearmint Gum sold for $15.60. Different seller and had nine bids. So that's a great bread and butter. I mean, who would have thought that you could get $15 for a gum wrapper? Good Luck Gum. This one is ultra rare. Fair condition, same seller, sold for $268.78. Five sticks for one cent. Nine bids plus shipping. Hershey's Chewing Gum Mint Flavor, yum, sold for $360.99. And this is a single gum stick. Oh, now I'm confused. Are you getting the pack or are you getting one? Maybe they, was. let's see. Hello, I used the sell one like this option and overlooked the title. This auction is for the entire pack. Okay. $360 plus shipping. Vintage 1928 Clark Brothers Long Chew Single Gum Stick. Ultra rare. Sold for $154.01. Nine bids. Long Chew Gum. That is so cool. Privateer Chewing Gum from the 1930s. Sold for $115.50 plus shipping. All right, so here is the new old stock, 1932. It's in the box, 16 packs, sold for $610 with four bids plus shipping. Wrigley's Double Mint Chewing Gum. Again, this one went for $535.99 plus shipping. And I wonder if he would have parted it out and sold them separately. Would he have made more? This one, I'm shocked it didn't go for more. Okay, it still went for a lot, but it's Halloween. So you've got your Halloween collectors. It's got the box. It's got the advertising. It's amazing. It's called Wowie Chewing Gum. How cool is that? Sold for $371.66 plus shipping. And it's very cool. Blood Orange. $277, 14 bids plus shipping. I don't know if I already did that one. If I did, I apologize. So this is the same seller. So I'm going to go to see other items. This is what he currently has listed. Let's go to highest first. So this is Yucatan gum, 20 packs, ultra rare, no bids yet. This one's got a bid for 385, 350, three uh, no bid, 300. 300, 265, six days left, and it's at 265. Wow. Pretty amazing, all of this gum, right? Wow. That's a gum box. It's got eight bids at 99.99. How cool is that, guys? Let's go all the way to the bottom. So you can see here, he's got um, some starting out at 10 bucks. 10, let's look at solds. Definitely, definitely a very interesting store. Uh, okay, highest first, 898, 750, 610, 535. Wonder if he ever knew like, oh, this gum's gonna be worth so much money someday. 531, 525, 484. I mean, it is really neat. Look how much money he has made. I, I'm saying he, but it could be a she. Look how much money this seller has made on old gum. I think I'd put a disclosure that said, not for consumption, do not eat, for advertising only, something. Super cool. All right, you guys, I want your feedback. I love it. I love this video. It is so awesome. 
It might be one of my favorite Bolo videos. I just think it's so cool. And as always, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. If there's like, if you have a video request, like a category video that you'd like to see, like I had somebody ask for a puzzles video that I did. And I think I shared that one. Well, by the time I post this video, it'll be probably a month ago. So if you want to see the puzzle video, you can search puzzles on my uh, channel. This hat's kind of itchy. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon. Have a great night.